Got something you need to hide or keep out of reach of prying eyes or tiny hands? Let's be honest, kids are better sleuths than most and they will go through your stuff just for fun. If you need to keep things like jewelry, money, medication, or your stash safe and secure, where can you put it? I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and Trova is a small locking storage case that doesn't need a key. Instead, you use your smartphone and a password or biometric ID like Face ID, and that means only you can unlock it. I received a gold Trova Go case right here to test out and review. I'm going to show you all about how it works, what it can hold, and tell you whether I think it is a good idea for your personal, recreational, or otherwise private stuff. An early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and give me a sub because it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there gets to watch, enjoy, and learn from. Let's take a look at what you're getting here. Trova Go is a very portable aluminum case with a seemingly sturdy locking hook and hidden hinges. This size measures about six inches by three inches by just over an inch. It's smooth and sleek and without anything to grasp, it's pretty much impossible to pull open with your hands. Trova says the Go is designed to fit in a jacket pocket or your back pocket, but in my opinion it's a bit big for that, but you could just carry it in hand with your phone, you could even put it in your purse, or it could double itself as an evening clutch, keeping your ID, cash, and anything else you might want to take along with you safe. Inside is a silicone lined tray and there's an optional pillbox you can slide in there too that'll also hold small things like earrings. On the lid is an elastic holder for watches or cash and a ring strap to keep jewelry in place. The box is designed to seal tightly as well, meaning if you opt to store pot in here, the scent shouldn't alert anyone. I also received the Trova sleeve, which is a buttery soft leather cover designed to protect your Trova. Perhaps worth pointing out is that there is a 60% fatter version called Trova Go Plus that's geared at holding things like bulkier men's watches and more other stuff. There is also a big desktop version called Trova Home. Trova says the Go is designed to hide your valuables in plain sight. The discreet case might catch someone's eye because of its good looks, but people might also think it's a simple battery pack too. Let's look at how you access your Trova. You can get into it only using the free app and a Bluetooth connection, which gets set up with a numeric passcode or your phone's biometric security option. In my case, I'm able to use Apple's Face ID, but whatever your phone has, the Trova can adapt to, including fingerprint access or a retina scan. A tap on the app will open up the box, and once it's closed, it locks automatically. There are no keys to lose and no additional passcodes to remember, especially if you opt for that biometric option. The app will also notify you if the Trova becomes disconnected from your phone or if you accidentally leave it open. You can also check the battery status inside the app. In my testing, after about two weeks, I still had about 25% battery left. You can see it in the top right there, by the way. You can recharge your case by plugging it in with the included USB-C cable. So how can you get into your Trova if the battery is dead? Just go ahead and plug it in and let it get a bit of juice. Once it has even a bit of power, you can open it. How fast does Trova unlock? Once the app is open, it really unlocks in a split second. As soon as you touch the unlock button on the app, it is open. I found the app and the box to be very fast and responsive in my testing, and it opened immediately every time I accessed it. When I posted about Trova on my Instagram, some folks wanted to know if it was easy to break into it. You can get your fingernails in there and pry, but the latch does feel pretty sturdy. Next up, I tried forcing it with a butter knife. You can definitely get one in there, but only so far, and I'm not actually sure it would really open the box. I didn't want to force it and possibly break it since I wasn't quite done with my review and my testing. In my opinion, someone with enough determination could definitely get in here. So this is best meant to hide in plain sight and not make some things too easy to access. The Trova box is not a safe, but then again, it's not really meant to be one. Let's take a look at what will fit inside the Trova Go. This is the smallest of the Trova devices, and in all honesty, it's not huge. 
You can easily fit some credit cards, a small to medium sized wad of cash, maybe a couple of rings and whatever you can get in the pillbox too. Something like a passport though will definitely not fit in here, which is kind of too bad. I also could not get my Fitbit Sense in there either. It's also not quite big enough for a lipstick, though if you need more space, you could upgrade to the bigger Trova Go Plus. Another question I had about this device is, can I give other users permission or access? And in short, no, you can't. Trova Go only allows for one user, um, but a single user can have multiple Trova boxes, by the way. In my opinion, it would be really nice if you could share access with a spouse or partner, but that's not an option yet. Um, I could mention, by the way, that the Trova home box, the larger box, does allow for multi-user access. Trova also has a manual bypass option, which if you did need to have others get into the box, this would work. If you should need it, you can set the app to bypass the security codes or biometrics and have the device open with a double press of the multifunction button. While that cuts way back on security, the person trying to access it would need to know to use the double tap feature, which I guess they could Google since the Trova name is on the bottom of the box, but I digress. I found this feature actually didn't really work for me most of the time. There was no detail supplied on exactly how to execute the double press to make it work, and it would take me about 20 random tries before before I could get it to open once. If your Trova has gone missing, you can hunt it down. The never lost feature taps your phone's GPS to mark the last known location at the time the connection gets lost, which is great if it jogs your memory, but you can't then geolocate where it's gone since that last connection with your phone. Overall, I think Trova is a great idea and there is no doubt it is beautifully designed. The craftsmanship is ultra high quality and this would actually make a really great gift for someone. The box feels durable and I like the silicone lining which keeps things from slipping around. The butter soft sleeve is also a must have addition to the Trova Go in my opinion. Um, I do like the hide in plain sight concept. I think someone might be inclined to think your Trova is just a power bank and maybe just leave it alone. Um, those are the pros. When it comes to the cons, I do have some concerns about how easily you could break into this box. I definitely think someone with enough determination and a screwdriver or a durable butter knife could force it open. Uh, also on the downside, the Trova Go here is quite small. It's really meant only for the essentials or for a very small stash. Um, as I noted earlier though, you can upgrade to one of the larger size Trovas if you think space will be an issue or you don't need it to be as portable. The battery life seems good. In short, I really like Trova and I can recommend it if you've got a few small things that you need to hide in plain sight or keep out of reach, easy reach I should say, from your kids. The Trova Go here sells for about $199 US and the Trova Go Plus, the thicker version, is $229 US just for a comparison. You can get them both from Trova's website, which I will make sure is linked up here. If you want to read this review or reference any of what I talked about, head over to techgadgetscanada.com where you'll find a full write-up. You can ask me any questions you have about the Trova device, either there on the blog or, as always, here on the YouTube channel. If you liked this video or found it helpful or I told you something you didn't know, please mash that like button and become a subscriber. That helps me stay on top of YouTube, which in turn helps me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there gets to watch, enjoy, and learn from. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also catch me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.